Epic, it is good to be with you for some Bible reading. We are going to be in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 32, and we're going to read through Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 3. All right, so it's a little bit longer. Stick with us. Uh, if you need to hit pause, find your place, grab something to write with or mark your Bible up with, go ahead now. All right, here we go. Hebrews chapter 32 starts like this. And what more shall I say? I do not have time to tell you about Gideon, Barak, Samson, and Jephthah, about David and Samuel and the prophets, who through faith conquered kingdoms, administered justice, and gained what was promised, who shut the mouths of lions, quenched the fury of the flames, and escaped the edge of the sword, whose weakness was turned to strength, and who became powerful in battle and rooted foreign armies. Women received back their dead, raised to life again. There were others who were tortured, refusing to be released so that they might gain an even better resurrection. Some faced jeers and flogging, and even chains and imprisonment. They were put to death by stoning. They were sawed in two. They were killed by the sword. They went about in sheepskins and goatskins, destitute, persecuted, and mistreated. The world was not worthy of them. They wandered, wandered in deserts and mountains, living in caves and in holes in the ground. These were all commended for their faith, yet none of them received what had been promised. Since God had planned something better for us, so that only together with us would they be made perfect. Chapter 12. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand and the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinners, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. Hey, there's a lot of history there, boys and girls, with, uh, we call them faith heroes in the Bible. People that uh, endured and persevered through really difficult times, but trusted and believed in God. I love the part where it says, faith is like a race, right? As a competitor, I love to compete. I love to win. And the race has been won by Jesus. And so I get just to follow that, and it reassures me the good news um, so yeah, we are going to continue to finish up the book of Hebrews the rest of the week, and I'll be reading that. So hopefully you'll be back and hopefully this guy will join us too. Have a good night.